Okay, you brought me to this site um, in the Illawarra on the on the escarpment to look at these these rocks uh, that are seem quite old. How, how old are they? Um, we're on the lower bed of the Sydney Basin, and this is the, the base exposure is Permian. Um, it rises. At, I'm pretty certain as we go south, you start seeing this coming out the cliffs of Jarvis Bay, and, and the Permian was glaciated. Okay. So what you see in it, we're looking at some gravels. There's shallow marine, and uh, it's just ice rafted material, and the ice, sea ice is tipped over, or it's melted, and you can also then start seeing when you on the surface what's left oh, in yeah, a lot of drop stones, yeah. and they're just coming out of the ice. Right. Um, a lot of uh, retreat of the sea, uh, ocean comes back, and at Jarvis Bay it's very good. You can see that when the uh, shoreline was out, it's sandy, and when the shoreline retreated, you go into these shallow marine materials, and they okay. just alternate up the cliff face, and the weathering is picking them out. Not as much here. Right. Uh, it seems to be all sort of the same amorphous material. It's cross but it's yes. shallow marine. Yeah. It might be coming up here in the beach. I mean, because it is very contrasted, isn't it? You, it? The whole sequence looks looks quite grey and composed of sand, sandstone, which seems quite, to be quite well layered. But then every now and again, you've got these layers of yeah. gravel and these big stones that just seem to be isolated within yeah. the sand. And if you look up yeah. uh, here at the top, I mean, I'm almost yeah. about convinced that you could call that a beach. Right. That, that's part of It's very similar, apparently, to Hudson Bay shoreline. Oh, right. It's the okay. modern day environment equivalent. Right. Um, so this is this is Permian sandstone. Permian. So we're going back. Uh, Quite high. What two? Two hundred million. Two twenty. Two to three. Yeah, two yeah. to three hundred million years ago. Um, what does that say about Australian paleogeography? Then was does that mean that the global climate was as Australia was a lot colder then, or is it something to do with continental drift and where the, the Australasian plate was then? Yeah, it was where the uh, it's part of um, Gondwana going back to Pangaea. Okay. And one landmass uh, centered on the Antarctic. Right. And Australia broke off, India broke off, and traveled faster. Australia's still traveling from continental drift. And uh, the uh, area or landmass sat over the pole. Right, okay. And uh, it's drifted away. Australia's since then has drifted out of glaciation. Uh, glacial climates into and the tropics, more Yeah, yeah. Um, so what we're looking at then is is rocks that were laid down when Australia was in a completely different place on the on the planet. It was over the South Pole. Yeah, and it's about the yeah. last um, sort of Australia grew from a centre core area. Uh, Pilbara Shield was a oh, core. Okay. And Australia grew eastwards through sedi erosion sedimentation. And so part of the Sydney Basin is this enormous deposition of sediments coming off some interior area. Oh, okay. Although there is evidence from cross baiting that there was a land mass out seaward. And whether that's sunk or, or where it is is debatable, but the, the cross baitings in the Hawkesbury sandstone show that the river Eck was actually coming from the northeast. You look out northeast now and you just see ocean. Yes, yes. Uh, a really strange little obscure abstract back in the 1980s, and it was looking at these things called terrains, which are a little bit of plate that um, rapidly travel across the Earth's surface. And they mainly build up along the Rockies. And you look at the Rockies, you find these bits of rock, at substantial bits, kilometers in areas, and you can't figure what they are. Oh, right. Well, in Alaska, some bright spark <laughs> uh, sequenced it with numbers and yes. sediment sand coated it, and then went through some coating of every other deposit in the world. And this bit in Alaska meant the Sydney Basin. Oh, did it? Yeah. <laughs> so that was. Adjacent and the oh. theory was that it was a bit of terrain that's floated right across the Pacific Ocean right. and it's moved up the uh, North American West Coast and yeah. lodged into Alaska. Right, so the sediments, that, some of the sediments we got here then probably came from a, a landmass or part of Australia that was that's now lost and is being, being yeah. replaced by the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, lost continents. Ah, fabulous. So although here we've got evidence of what we would perhaps on the face of it take as climate change and that we've got evidence of glacial erratics almost being dropped yeah. in the ocean from yeah. icebergs in this area, it doesn't actually reflect climate change at all. It actually shows that the, the Earth is dynamic and these plates are floating it's, around. It's plate movement. And, I yeah. mean, I, I've been to these type of environments in the eastern coast of Canada, and I, I've seen ice scrape in a bit of, especially if there's gravelly sediment and beaches are forming in marines, old marines, and the ice is there and the ice is dynamic and just shifting these sediments in and then 
summer comes and the beach all gets cleaned up right. and nice white sand gets deposited yeah. or clean sand gets deposited yes and yeah. so you you end up with these mixtures and right. you can actually get the ice coming into the sand dunes so you don't know oh, if you're looking right. at a storm there oh, you don't right, know if okay. you're looking at a storm or ice push right and here we, we in our modern research we're looking at the difference between is it a tsunami or storm yes, because we think yes. a, storm, a tsunami yeah in eastern canada the, the darn ice mixes up everything because oh, right, okay. yes. this ice can push sediment off yes. the shallow shelf push it in over the dunes yeah. uh, fascinating so i mean yeah. this looks like if you drained a my early yeah. master's area in gulf st lawrence and you drained the water out yes that's what you see that's what i'm seeing yeah fascinating